In this course, we are going to refactor an application that is built with MVC and make it adopt MVVM instead. This will teach you two important lessons. What are the shortcomings of MVC? And how can MVVM help resolve these shortcomings? The application we are going to refactor is Cloudy. Cloudy is a lightweight weather application that shows the user the weather of their current location. It shows the current weather conditions and a forecast for the next few days. The weather data is retrieved from the Dark Sky API, a very easy to use weather service. Cloudy has a setting screen to change the time notation, the unit system used by the application, and the user can switch between degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. In this lesson, I would like to walk you through the source code of Cloudy. You can download Cloudy from GitHub using the link below. Make sure to check out the MVC branch. The best place to start is the main storyboard of the project. As you can see, we have a container view controller with two child view controllers. The first child view controller is the day view controller, which shows the current weather conditions. The second child view controller is the week view controller, showing the forecast for the next few days in a table view. If the user taps the settings button in the top right of the day view controller, they are taken to the settings view controller, which we saw earlier. It's a table view listing the different options the user has. The heavy lifting is done in the root view controller. This view controller has several important tasks, fetching the current location of the device, fetching the weather data, and passing the weather data to the child view controllers. Fetching the current location is fairly easy. We create an instance of the location manager, and every time the application becomes active, we request the location. In this method, we set the delegate of the location manager, we ask the user for permission if necessary, and we call request location on the location manager. When the location manager has detected the location of the device, did update location, a method of the location manager delegate protocol, is invoked. We receive an array of locations, we grab the first location and set the current location property of the root view controller. To make sure we don't receive any more updates, we set the delegate of the manager to nil and stop updating locations. Every time the current location is updated, we invoke fetch weather data. This method is fairly short because most of the heavy lifting is done by the data manager. We first make sure we have a valid location, and then we invoke weather data for location on the data manager object. In the completion handler, we set the response, these are model objects, to the day view controller and the week view controller. A lot of the heavy lifting is done by the data manager class. It takes care of fetching the weather data from the dark sky API, and it also converts the data object we get back from the Dark Sky API into model objects. The model objects that we use in this project are weather data and weather day data. Notice that weather data has a property of type array of weather day data. The current weather conditions are contained by the weather data object, and the forecast for the next few days is an array of weather day data objects. When the root view controller receives the response from the data manager, it hands the weather data object to the day view controller and the daily data to the week view controller. The implementation of the day view controller is fairly short. It has a now property, which is of type weather data, and every time this property is set, update view is invoked. We hide the activity indicator view. And if we have valid weather data, we invoke update weather data container. In this method, we show the weather data container, which is just a wrapper view for the subviews that display the weather data. And we format and transform the raw values of the weather data object before they are displayed to the user. This is typical code that you see in an application that is built with MVC. We create a date formatter, and there are several if-else statements to make sure that the data is correctly formatted based on the settings of the user. The weak view controller looks very similar. 
we have a weak property, which is of type an array of day data. And every time this property is set, we update the view, we hide the activity indicator view, we end refreshing the refresh control of the table view, and if we have valid weather data, we update the weather data container. We show the weather data container and reload the table view. The interesting part of this view controller is self row at index path. We dequeue a cell, we fetch the weather day data object that corresponds with the index path, and we do the same as in the day view controller. We transform and format the raw values of the model object before we display it to the user. Again, a lot of if statements to make sure that the data is correctly formatted. This is very typical for an MVC application. The setting view controller is fairly short but it is quite long if you consider that we only have a few settings. Later in this course, we will try to use MVVM to make this view controller shorter and more concise and more transparent. This is all you need to know about Cloudy for now. In the next lesson, we focus on several aspects in more detail and discuss which bits we plan to refactor with MVVM. If you want to run Cloudy, you need to add your Dark Sky API key to configuration.swift. Signing up for a developer account is free and it only takes a few minutes.